All right, so for a simple shape like this, what I do is I start with a basic uh, rectangle. So I go from here to here to here to here, right? I use the shift in the middle to give me the preview. I'm not worried about the proportions and everything looks good, nothing at all. So I'm gonna create a simple polygon face, right? Let me go to my channels, select the image plane, and in the attribute editor, I'm gonna dim it down by controlling the alpha gain. Now, here's my guy right here. And the very first thing that I'm gonna do, once I generate a basic shape, is I'm gonna use control to split it in half, both vertically and horizontally. And then I'm gonna move these shapes just like this. Immediately, I'm gonna hit three. And notice that you can see, at least in the middle part, you can see your smooth preview of what the shape is gonna look like. And we're moving the blue points. If I hit one, I go back to this view right here. And then what I'm gonna do for the corners is I'm gonna extract them by holding the tab key, right? Let me reset it by going tap, right mouse button, reset. And notice that I can do either one edge or if I do tap, middle mouse, I can do this edge loop from top to bottom. So when I do that, I'm gonna put this guy right here at the corner, and then these guys, I'm gonna bring them in. Again, always hitting three to see what I'm doing. And as you can see, we were able to create a very, very basic shape with the quad draws to mimic our oval. Again, I'm gonna hit one, do it on the opposite side, tab, middle mouse, drag it, and then just go release the tab key, go to the corners, hit three, see what kind of a shape you're getting. If your shape for some reason needs more support, what we can do, like in this corner right here, I'm noticing that I need a little bit of more support to get that nice curve. So I'm bringing these guys in and then I'm dropping the corner. And for example, this is gonna work nicely right here. Okay, so if I go back to one, this is where I'm gonna have an issue with either extending the outer border or putting an inside border for my fencing, right? So if you notice, if I go back to modeling toolkit and I select the quad draw, I cannot use my control trick because I have those weird corners right here. Maya doesn't know what this guy is doing in the middle here it has no problem because it goes from one edge to another edge so if i hold control look what i get so what i can do is i can either extrude the outer border and then bring everything in like this tab right mouse button and go to extend border and now again you can do tab and you can extend that border maya understands that very easily and then if i hit three it's just a matter of bringing in these guys right here. Another way of doing this, let me go and click on undo. Based on, for example, an object that does not have really good inner borders would be to manually create the inner border. And the way that you do that is you go to quad draw, you hold control to create as many edge loops as you can in the inside. So I'm gonna go here and then for the bottom, I'm gonna go here. And now remember, without using the move tool, all you gotta do is move your cursor right here and look at this. I'm able to move this guy here. I'm gonna move this guy right here. Hit three to see what's going on. And as you can see, if I move this guy right here, for example, like so, I'm missing this pieces right here, but that's an easy fix, right? Because what we can do, let me make sure that it's the same all the way around. What we can do for these guys right here is we can go to tab, let me reset it. So go tap, right mouse button, reset settings. And now what I can do with my tab key is I can move this guy out and then move it so that the top left side snaps like this. I'm gonna put this guy right here and I'm gonna do the same thing here. Tap, drag this edge, I'm gonna either snap it to the bottom left adjacent edge or to this guy right here and then drag them so that they snap to each other. 
And now look at this. If I hit three, I have a really nice border edge from the inside. Again, I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to go to one, tap, extend this edge right here, snap it right here, and do the same thing on the opposite side. Snap it right here. And then it's just a matter of connecting these two guys. And then just move them right here. And always hit three and fix your edges. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to extrude the shape. So I'm going to select my outer edge by double clicking it. Make sure that you never double click with the move, the scale or the rotate tool. Hit Q. Double click the outer edge. Okay, go to your perspective view. You are going to hit extrude and you are going to extrude one fencing edge the same thickness as the one that you have in the front. Okay, you can eyeball that. And then you're gonna hit G or extrude again. Put this guy in the middle, give your thickness, right? And then do another one in the back, like so. Match the thickness for both of them. I'm going to hide my image plane. And just to reinforce the back, all you're gonna do is do one last extrusion right so i'm going to hit g to repeat the last operation which was extrusion and this time i'm not going to move my pivot point to the middle i'm just going to keep it here on the edge and i'm going to drag it in inwards the same thickness right as the extrusion edge supporters that we created and when i hit three there you have it all right if you want for example sharper edges it's just a matter of either creating right here with the modeling toolkit quadra and in the control key adding an extra edge loop equally on all the corners so i'm going to go around and i'm going to put one here control and notice now that we're going to get let me get out of quadra we're going to get very sharp corner i'm going to hit three and this is what you get. If, for example, you don't like the fact that your object is too tessellated on the edges, if you want more geometry to make it smoother, it's just a matter of going back to the very beginning. Let me go to my view with the image plane. I'm going to readjust the size. So let me put my center pivot in the middle. And now I'm going to use the scale just to make my sign a little bit bigger so that it matches. And I'm going to manually fix these guys right here. Everything looks good. So let's say that I want more geometry right here. So what I would do with my quadra tool in the control key, right? Select the object, go to modeling toolkit, go to quadra. It's just a matter of holding control and adding extra edges. So I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna put one here, and then I'm gonna go in the middle, I'm gonna put one here, and I'm gonna put one right here. Now remember, you want quads. These are quads, these are quads. Now when I go to object mode and I hit three, notice that our shape has changed again, right? We've added new edges, our shape is going to be drastically modified, but it's very easy to fix. It's just a matter of selecting your vertices and manually readjust everything. you will notice that we have an edge loop right here that are part of, for better words, a lip. So if I was to select this edge right here, let me go and convert the selection to faces. Now you will notice that this is a continuous rim of faces. So now we don't have to worry about 
using the control key and having a very awkward looking edge loop, we're gonna get a really good edge loop to create an inner fencing. So I'm gonna go to object, quad draw, and look what happens if I go to one and I hold the control key inside of that edge loop. It's gonna give me a really, really good edge loop. So I can do this either on quad draw, like so, hit three. Let me get out of quad draw so you can see what it looks like. Or I can do this since I'm in edges right now. I can go shift, right mouse button, and I can insert an edge loop tool. Always reset your tool, just in case. I'm gonna hit one. And look at this, I can insert an edge loop as thick as I want. So I've created an inner fencing for my object. So if I hit three, let me go to object mode so it looks better. I'm going to, again, fix my vertices one more time. Just make sure that everything is inside of my design, that there's really good spacing between my vertices. I've noticed that these guys right here are very compressed, so I'm going to move them out. I want equal distances between my vertices. And I'm just going to go around, make sure everything is fine. Everything looks really good. Again, these two guys could go in a little bit have more breathing room in this corner. And before I do my extrusion, I like to hit number one just to see if there's anything weird. Everything looks fine. Hit three, go to object mode. I'm gonna go to my perspective so we can see this happening in real time. Again, Q, edges, double click on the border edge. And now we're ready to extrude and create our fencing extrusions. Hit extrude, make sure that the gizmos in the center by clicking on this icon right here. Do the first extrusion, which is our fencing extrusion. I'm gonna hit one so you can see it better. Do another extrusion, hit G, put the gizmo in the middle. This is the thickness of your sign. And then we're gonna hit we're gonna hide the image plane, and I'm gonna hit G again. Put the gizmo in the center, create a fencing extrusion, and then my last extrusion is gonna be the back piece. So I'm gonna hit G for extrusion, and this time I'm gonna bring it in. Same thickness as this extrusion right here. Now I'm gonna to go to object mode, hit three, and notice that we get less faceted than before because now we have more geometry.